All right, you guys, today I'm gonna check out how to make this slit scan effect with double text animation here in After Effects. Create a new composition, rename it as Final Comp. I'm gonna go with this size, four seconds, black background, click OK. For the text, I'm gonna go with the Neue Haas Grotesque Display Pro, black italic. And I'm gonna go and select the pen behind tool and search for the anchor point, which is right here. And I'm gonna drag it on the left side, press and hold control, and I'm gonna snap it to this little square. Now press the letter S for scale. Let's activate the stopwatch at the scale, unlink it, and let's bring it to the first second. And we're gonna go back to the scale and bring this down to zero. And as you can see, it is stretching in and out. I'm gonna select both keyframes, a right click, keyframe assist, and select easy ease. Press Ctrl D to duplicate the layers. And now we're gonna work with the top text layer. I'm also gonna go to the field to recolor and I'm gonna select the text tool and rename it. Let's go and select both of the layers, go to the align and align it to the right. So both of the text are aligning right here. Now I'm gonna go and deselect these layers and select the vision text layer. Let's select the pen behind tool again and let's go and search for the anchor point is right here. I drag it on the right side, press and hold control and snap it to the little square. And now I'm gonna go and select the selection tool and I'm gonna stretch the vision text all the way out where the panther text begins. I'm gonna select the vision text, press the letter U to highlight the keyframes and I'm gonna select these two top keyframes. Right click on them, keyframe assist and select time reverse keyframes. So it's gonna go something like this. I'm gonna switch back the colors. I'm also gonna select all the keyframes. Let's go to the graph editor. I'm gonna select these two anchor points and bring the handles in for a smoother animation. Let's go and uncheck the graph editor. I'm gonna go to the second second, make sure to select both layers and press Ctrl Shift plus D to trim the layers. And I'm gonna press delete. I'm gonna select the two layers, press Ctrl D to duplicate. And I'm gonna bring the new layers on the top of every each layer. Press the letter U to highlight the keyframes and I'm gonna push these out starting from the second second. So we're gonna need to create a loop and as you can see it starts with a vision and it switches to the panther. So I'm gonna select these keyframes, all four of them, right click. Let's go to the keyframe assist and select time reverse keyframes. And now it is going to start with a vision. But as you can see here, the panther text is getting squashed on the left. And if you go here, the whole thing is getting reversed, which is not good. So what I'm going to do is bring it back here at the beginning so you can see the full vision text. And I'm going to go and select the layer with the vision, select the pen behind tool and bring the anchor point of the vision here. Press and hold control on the left side and snap it. Now I'm gonna select the second panther text and let's bring it out. So now you can see the panther text and I'm gonna go and select the anchor point of the text, press and hold control, bring it on the right side and snap it. So let's take a look, it goes like this and it loops. Now let's go and select all the text layers, right click, pre-comp, rename it as text, click OK. Right click here, new and select solid click OK. Let's go to the effects and presets type in gradient ramp. Drag and drop on the black solid. I'm going to leave it as it is. I right click on the black solid, pre-comp, rename it as gradient and make sure to select move all attributes into the new composition. Click OK. Drag the gradient under the text, uncheck it, select the text layer. Let's go to the effects and presets type in displacement. Drag and drop the time displacement on the text layer and we're going to go to the time displacement layer, change it to the gradient and check this out, it is gonna do its magic. And when you bring it back to the beginning, as you can see, it already starts distorting it. So here are the max displacement, you can increase the distortions or decrease it. So I'm gonna go all the way to zero. Let's activate the stopwatch, and I'm gonna bring it to the first second, and here I'm gonna bring it back to one. So it's gonna start smooth, and there you go. And this is how you make the slit scan effect with double text animation here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.